Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Coach's Corner here on Warrior Radio. I'm your host, Brett Koblenz, joined here by my broadcast partner, Mason Gray, and, of course, boys basketball coach, John Everingham. Coach, great to be back on air with you on this fine Saturday morning. All right, let's get it going. Now, one of the things that we haven't seen this season is a true second or even third scorer. We, we've seen some guys, especially in the wins, some guys step up off the bench. They'll score 10 or 15 points, but it's not the same guy every night. And you don't. And some of those guys don't score as much the next game. But I think, especially with the loss of Trayvon, we aren't sure how long he's going to be out. But especially Jacob Hand and Tyler Smith both had great games last night. And I think if Trayvon Coleman is out an extended period of time, you could see those two step up and take bigger roles in this offense. I mean, you don't really have anybody that's able to score night in and night out. Yeah, we don't. And and so um, th- these are things that I knew coming into the season and I knew would be um, a bit of a challenge uh, for us as the season went along. Early on, we had some success, and I, I think it was just basically because people didn't know who we were. And they didn't know what we were trying to do. And, and again, um, other coaches are out there scouting. They're watching pretty much every possession of our season. And so they're starting to figure out you know, how to beat us. And so um, it's, I think it's pretty evident. You, you're really trying to focus in on, on Trayvon Coleman and kind of limit his points so he doesn't have 20-plus. Um, you know, keep him in the 10 to 12 point range and make somebody else beat you. So um, and that's something that, that um, you know, the way I have – kind of put it is we don't have that in baseball terms we don't have that home run hitter and especially on the perimeter and so what we have to do is to play small ball we have to you know bunt guys into position and, and get base hit after base hit after base hit and we just got to manufacture some things and and I think we're we're starting to get it um, last night I thought was a huge huge step in the right direction in terms of what we want to do so we're doing the same thing all right we are very excited to have cameron schleyball here cameron thanks for coming in on your day off i don't think you really had much of a choice everingham probably just told you to get your butt in here but hey thanks for coming in nonetheless yeah thanks for having me so you know we uh you and i we played basketball together in middle school we were on the same aau team uh we went to middle school together we played basketball um in middle school and uh, well not in elementary school together but middle school we played together and then I quit and you kind of kept on going that's been the story with you Tyler and Tim who's all been on the show and I've talked to them about how I just quit basketball but I guess I just want to ask what what made you continue going on with basketball because I quit because I didn't really love the sport enough to keep playing and work hard at it but what kept you in the game of basketball throughout your high school career well I think there's a couple things that kept me going um I, I love the sport of basketball. It's my favorite sport to watch, favorite sport to play. I just love everything about it, the, com- the competitiveness that goes on in the game and everything else. But also, I think the guys also kept kept me going. Like, Tim and Tyler, like, those are some of my best friends. And, like, it's, it's pretty cool to play basketball with them all the time. So, yeah. Okay, so going back to the Mishawaka Marion game, we were broadcasting that one, and it ended up being a pretty big blowout. You got tossed, what was it, second quarter of that game? That's right. We were Okay, so we're like kind of mildly paying attention to you as Tyler's getting ready to shoot his free throw. First of all, they blew the whistle during Tyler's free throw and didn't give him a reshot. And then you looked like you're having a very calm and very collected conversation with the ref, and then all of a sudden, he's giving you the hook. What happened? Is it... Uh... So I, I, I mean, do I have to tell the real story or do I? What what do I say here? No, I. Um, I mean, <laughs> I'm believing that you're innocent. Yeah. Don't let me down here, Coach. Well, if I have to, you know, if I have to make an official statement on that, as um, you know, I, honestly, in in um, in nine years as a head coach, I, I've only had one technical foul, and I had a discussion with another coach uh, during that game, which caused me to have that technical foul, and it, it's embarrassing. I mean. It's embarrassing getting a technical foul and and this game is about the kids um, this game is about the student athletes and and what they're doing on the floor it's really not about the coach or the official we're, we're kind of there to help guide and teach and, and get, to get kids to learn and so um, sometimes whether you're you're a coach or an official you get kind of into the game and 
and certain things happen that that you're just not real proud of and and i can tell you absolutely 100 percent sure that that was a situation that um was not the case for me um because i didn't do anything um that was inappropriate and so um you, you know sometimes you got to give the benefit of the doubt that that there are people human beings that, that are on the floor that make mistakes and and um and i think that's kind of what happened it was um it was a simple misunderstanding i certainly didn't curse raise my voice or get out of my box in any way shape or form um you know we've sent the video uh to different people and and um it's it's really one of those things it's kind of still under uh this legal umbrella um in terms of the IH, ihsaa and and what they're dealing with down there and um, just a couple of days ago i was contacted by the assistant commissioner down at the ihsaa so it's just one of those things as adults um uh, we're dealing with with that particular incident that that was unfortunate in a basketball game Thank you for joining us today on Coach's Corner. Uh, I really enjoyed it, and speaking for Mason, I'm sure he did too. Please be sure to tune in next week. We'll be talking with Coach Everingham again. The boys' basketball season does kick off on Tuesday against Fairfield here at Wallace C. So if you can come out to that game, great. But if you can't, also great because you can listen to me and Mason on Warrior Radio. Uh, we are really excited for this season of Wallace C basketball and for Coach's Corner to continue. Thank you for listening.